Good morning, Mass Mom staff and students. This is Mr. Lon with your Thursday morning B Day announcements, upcoming events. We have a packed calendar. You already know this. This Friday, tomorrow, students, we have the Mass Mom Culture Fest. This is also a half day for you. Next week, we have from Monday to Friday the Keystone Spirit Week. Then we have the Keystone Exam the week. Following, week and a half following, really, the 15th to the 24th, we have the Keystone exam. Then uh, kind of in the middle of that, kind of weird, but in the middle of that, we have Election Day on the 16th. All right, we'll take it. And then there's like a half name next in there. We'll get to all that later. Uh, Friday the 26th is the Keystone Block Party. Heck to the yes, the Keystone Block Party. And students, you know our number one priority always is educators at Mass Bomb. Just keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. That means reach out to a staff member that you trust if you have any concerns or problems. We are here to support you. Culture Fest. All right. So the Culture Fair with exhibits, poster boards created in social studies classes, grades 9 to 12, will be featured along with a passport activity in the 300 gym during uh, the earlier portion of the day, 8 to 11. Students, you will follow a schedule with your teachers. Ms. McPhil and me work that out. And then at 11 a.m., probably a little bit earlier, we're going to start calling down classes. At 11 a.m., you will come to the 122 gym where you will be – Privy to, witness to, an experiencer of live music, a fashion show, and cuisine from a wide array of cultures, thereby giving it the name Culture Fest. Door decorations are due today, staff and students. I'm going to be coming around with Miss. Dignetti, Mr. Diggs, Ms. Foster, Mr. Douglas, to do evaluations using a rubric Friday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be ready. I'm looking forward to it. One last time, one last time, the bar for winners from 2021 and 22, Ms. Jenkins with Uganda, and her students, Dr. Hayward and Miss Bacon, with their student support with Costa Rica in 202. Keystone exam, you know what's coming. All right, it's a week and a half, less than a week and a half from today. And you already know, Mass Bomb has grown 18 and a half points in the Keystone. Okay, that was based on our last year's scores. This is one of the highest growth rates. In the school district, students, you've done an amazing job. Teachers, you've done an amazing job. Families, you've done an amazing job. So we've already talked about the schedule, okay? I'm probably going to talk about it every single day next week, so I'll just skirt through this. You already know, constructor response, you are going to be on your grind. You're going to sweat it all on the constructor response and multiple choice portion of the exam. The Spirit Week, the Keystone Kickoff Week. Monday the 8th is tie-dye t-shirt day. We have Keystones down to a T. That is also the ninth grade algebra Keystone pep rally. The ninth, we have twin day because we are twinning. Really looking forward to that one. People get creative on twin day. That is also the 10th grade English Keystone pep rally. The 10th is Gene Day because we are geniuses. So wear your freshest jeans. That is also the 10th grade biology keystone pep rally. The 11th, Thursday, is Red Day. We are mess bomb ready. And the 12th is the big one. It's one that people are going to be very competitive over. It is 90s Day. All right. There is even rumors that for the Keystone Block Party, for the Keystone Block Party, the playlist is, 
We are going to be kicking it old school with some 90s music, which I am in favor of. I am in favor of because students, I, I listen to like the music you listen to sometimes and my daughters listen to, and I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening in life when I listen to that music. Some of it's okay, I guess. But even a trash can gets a lobster tail thrown at it every now and then, right? Continuing the Keystone Block Party, you already know. You have to have perfect attendance, okay? And amazing effort on all the exams that you are rostered to take in order to get admission to that block party, that 90s block party, on May the 26th. All right. It's a two-hour party. It's going to be the music, club grade speakers, food, games, everything. In the way of clubs today, we have Gamers Club, La Mamba uh, in 323. Multicultural Club with Mr. King in room 605. Rubik's Cube Club with Miss Walker, 7 7.30 a.m. in room 313. Monitors about Kuth and bracelet sales and Chromebook repairs and social media. No shout-outs today. Staff and students, if you would like to chime in with a shout-out, please email me at dllon at philasd.org. National Days. Today is National Weather Observers Day. So if you're a person that likes to observe the weather, like me, because you're weird, today's the day for you. It is National Password Day. You know, I'm going to speak for all of the staff at Mass Bomb and say, when the district does that thing where we are forced to make a change to our password, we can't even log into the system until we change our password. That ruins my entire month whenever that happens. That's a wrap. I'm just going to have a bad month whenever the school district of Philadelphia makes me change my password. Also, it is National Star Wars Day because may the 4th be with you. And I am also going to use this as a forum to say the thing I always say about Star Wars. I've never seen it. I don't like it. I don't want to see it. I have no basis for saying I don't like it, but I don't like it. Star Wars, may the fourth be with you, Star Wars. It's true. Never seen it. Also, something that's true, we're a mass bomb. We are builders of the future. Have a great Thursday.